Today on the show, we're having Cajun chicken pasta. Now, is this authentic Cajun? Probably not, but you can help out. Support the channel by subscribing, hitting the like button, and support me on Patreon. That way, I can book a flight to New Orleans and uh, do some research. Okay, to begin, you'll need two medium-sized chicken breasts, and we're gonna dice these into bite-sized pieces. And when they're all nice and diced up, put them on a separate plate. The reason why I want to cut up our chicken instead of seasoning it and then cooking it, because with this method, I get more surface area, which means more flavor from our spice rub. Speaking of which, let's get our Cajun spice rub ready. From Cito, the people who brought you CRJ's chili spices and CRJ's barbecue spice rub. CRJ's Cajun Spices, a brand new collection of down-home spicy Louisiana ingredients, such as Two and a half tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon onion powder, one teaspoon of thyme, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons black pepper, two teaspoons cayenne pepper. But wait, there's more! If you set aside half of the spice mixture, then add two teaspoons of salt to the remaining spice mix, you'll get Cajun spice mix with salt. To what is the amazing set? Have your credit card ready and dial the number on the screen. Note, CTEL, Face Done Kitchen, CRJ, YouTube, and its affiliates is not responsible for any burning butthole that might occur. Yeah, jeez, I just mixed the spices together and already my nostrils are opening up. Anyway, uh, take our Cajun seasoning with salt and use it to season our chicken. Make sure you get all the sides. Okay then, I have here on the stove a big pot full of water. Bring it to a boil over high heat. All right, once it comes to a boil, add five ounces of penne or two thirds a box. Cook until it's al dente. Once it's al dente, rinse it off in the sink and cool it down with some cold water. Yeah, I know I didn't spend that much time on cooking the pasta, but the sauce is more important than the pasta. Speaking of which, let's begin work on that. I have here a straight sided saute pan and let's set that over medium high heat. All right, once that heats up, toss in some oil. And let's cook our chicken. All right, once they cook long enough, flip them to the other side. Uh, I'm getting grease all over my other camera lens. Okay, once they're nice and browned off, move them to a separate plate. All right, once we're done cooking the chicken, reduce the heat down to medium low and add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Then take five cloves of minced garlic and add it to our pot. I know that's a lot of garlic, but A, it's Cajun, and B, I'm Lebanese. I'm surprised there isn't a larger Lebanese diaspora in New Orleans. We don't want to overcook our garlic, just take the harsh edge off. Okay, after about a minute of sauteing, let's deglaze with 18 ounces of beer, or a bottle and a half. Scrape up any of the brown bits at the bottom. All right, then let's add two thirds a cup of heavy cream. And yeah, it does kind of look like crap, but uh, here's the thing. We're gonna bring this to a boil over high heat. And then once we do, we're gonna let it simmer and reduce. That way it thickens up and B, we get rid of the alcoholic flavor from the beer. Oh, once it reaches the boil, reduce the heat down to medium. In the meantime, sprinkle in half a teaspoon of salt. And two teaspoons of our salt-free Cajun spice mix. Okay, continue to reduce it. So continue to reduce our sauce, and once it coats the back of a spoon, 
It's ready for the next step. Now let's add in a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, let's add in our noodles. And our chicken. Yeah, bowl, top off your pasta with some Parmesan and green onions and dig right in. And uh, you can't tell, but man, the kitchen's a mess. But hey, when you're reducing a sauce, it ain't gonna wait for you. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. And yeah, this is one of those videos where I'm ending it in front of the stove instead of the countertop. I had a rough week at my day job. That's another reason why you should support me on Patreon.